What's up, YouTube? It's Pointing to me, and welcome to the first retro Yu-Gi-Oh opening. So today I have the Return of the Duelist Special Edition. The original set was released on August 28, 2012, and I believe these special editions were like a month later, something like that. Really cool time for the game. It was when I was getting super competitive. Uh, I was in March, under the March 2012 format, so it was like the tail end, right before they uh, hit banned Future Fusion for Chaos Dragons, and they made. Um, they hit Insectors, Rabbit, and Wind Up. They hit all those huge decks. But that format was really fun, the hard in the 2012 format. You had all those decks I just mentioned at full power. It was a great time. This set introduced Girgia, um, uh, Prophecy cards, so you could finish the Spellbook deck. It was, it was pretty awesome. And then, really cool, Noble Knights got their first support out of here. So promos are uh, were TG Hyper Librarian and Acid Golem as a super rare. Um, I didn't have the Ultra Acid Golem. I think it was a jump card. So I got that Super Acid Golem. Either one would be pretty cool to get. So let's see which one we got. I used to get a lot of Acid Golems back in the day. And we got the Acid Golem. There we go. So sweet. Really cool nostalgic, nostalgic card. Let me move it over. Uh, yeah, so the set before this was Galactic Overlord. And it came out in... June, so you pretty much went almost two months without a main Yu-Gi-Oh set, because in between in July of 2012, they came out. Kami released uh, Hidden Arsenal Six, which featured like the Steel Swarm monsters, uh, like the new Gusto Three Synchro, some really cool stuff in there, Lavels, all that stuff. So let's get going, you guys. Hopefully, we get something epic. And we start off with the Madolce card. I forgot they were in the set too. Bottle Rusk. Madolce Chateau. That's awesome. Got the field spell. Chronomaly guy. And Crownly Crystal Bone. And then Blue Dragon Ninja. So we got a ninja. One of the newer like ninja boss monsters. So that's pretty cool. Got that as a super rare. Nice. Okay, up there. Oh, two more packs. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Generation Force, pretty much the same name as the set that came out earlier with Leviathan on the cover. Mental Trade Lesson, Chronomaly Technology. Got the Mew full Mental Trade card. Another Chronomaly Rare. And no hollow in that pack. That's another thing about these old school packs is you weren't guaranteed a hollow. Last pack, hopefully we can get something epic. Try to get a hollow, so I can't really complain too much. Got Block Golem, this guy was really cool. He had like Legos on him, really cool. And Rock decks, people did try him out for fun things. Strength of Prophecy, Generation Force again, Heroic Retribution Sword, and Dolce, uh, Co Voxer. So, nothing really crazy here. And then Where Art Thou was a cool card, but you know, really cool, really epic, really good time for the game. Um, we got one Hollow, we got Blue Dragon Ninja. Wasn't didn't really see much play. The only one that really did was White Dragon Ninja, the Secret Rare. I think that came out of Order of the Chaos. Order of Chaos. So, all right, guys, uh, comment, subscribe. Let me know um, your memories with Return of the Duelist. Awesome set. One of my favorites. Good time. Also played Gear Gear, so it was really cool. But yep, comment, subscribe, guys. Let me know. Let me know once again your favorite, one of your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh sets, and you know if you were around and. The stories you have about 2012 Yu-Gi-Oh!